So it's time to do a very quick video on the brand new box chips because they're finally available in game and they're actually not too bad, right? So what are they? Well, they're a way for Konami to give access to for new players and for older players, two cards available in the first 10 mini to main boxes. And how do you get them? Either via bundles or via some event missions, right? We don't know how much they're gonna be giving them via events. It remains to be seen. But uh, you can see here, we've got a bundle for 15 packs, RRP gem price, with 100 free box chips, and this product was available for a month, which is fine, I guess, if they want to make this limited time. I don't know why, but I guess it kind of makes sense. They're also giving away 200 entirely for free, just by summoning some cards and activating some cards, which is cool, because that means as a free-to-play player, you can get 400 box chips today and get four copies of cards you wanted. Which means people are going to be picking things like Cosmic Cyclone or Sphere Karibo or Divine Wrath. Those are some of the better choices, I guess, for cards in the box chips. And there is a, a lot of stuff in here that's good and a lot of stuff that's bad. Now, you've only got until the end of August to actually use these box chips and then they're done. So I think they're doing it like the dual, the dual pass was, right? Where initially you've got this, this limited time run to see how people kind of respond to it. Do they like it? Do they not? What's the feedback? And then hopefully improve it, right? By adding more boxes or, in my opinion, adding tiers to the cards you can get. Because, as it stands, a UR card is 100 box chips. But similarly, so is a super rare and so is a rare or a normal. All cards cost the same. And that feels kind of weird because when you're pulling a card in a box, they're not the same rarity, right? They're not the same chance. And so that doesn't feel right i think they should do a, a tiering thing like 100 chips for you are maybe 60 for an sr 40 for a rare and 20 for a normal right and so you can sit there and go you know what there's this rare card i need in a place set it's in the very old box i don't really want to go and dig for it with my gems let me use my box chips to get it for me instead of getting you one i think giving people that choice would be really cool now what is here is kind of fine right and in terms of rarity cards you're going to be going for things like, you know, Gishki Chain's a pretty good choice, but we've got Mandarin game right now and Senju, so this isn't all that amazing. If you want to play Dark World on the cheap, then this can make you do that. You know, this actually is one of the benefits, is Dark World now become somewhat free-to-play viable because they are now in, you know, in these box ships. We've got Cosmic as the best choice. In a meta where you've got Odd Eyes, you've got Dingisu, right, blocking destruction, you've now got access to three Cosmic, every player does and so i think this is kind of the what Konami were kind of wanting is to funnel you into getting your cosmics you don't waste dream tickets anymore you get your cosmic and uh, that's pretty good also into the void is another just a generically good card for certain decks for some cheesy ftk decks for some farm decks it's useful so that's a good kind of pick you've got triforce ops for orcast i believe are somewhat playing this um in terms of what else right you've got floodgate which could see more play now that you've got Pendulum being this super hyper popular mechanic on ladder, right? This would be a good card to play, but it is kind of dead going second, so I really wouldn't recommend it. Uh, King of the Swamp could be a good one to get Tillaments. <laughs> Copium from the old uh, Master thing. Um, probably not, but that's a, that's a ways, ways away. Uh, Treeborn would have been cool if we ever got, you know, Frog Monarchs and Duel Links, but we never really did. So that's kind of dead. Um, Gozuki as well is a very good card for Vampires, right? For Zombie decks. Uh, so this would be a, a highlight to kind of picking from your box chips. You've got Phoenix Gear Freed, which might be useful with an upcoming skill in the next main box. Just kind of putting out there that this might be one to kind of hold on to if you are going to be needing three copies of this. I'm not sure if you will, but this might be worth kind of holding on to. Uh, Divine Wrath is a generically good card to kind of have. Um, if you play Blue Eyes, then this will be a pretty decent pick for you. So uh, a cool card to, to grab once again. Uh, but... A lot of this stuff is going to be kind of tailored to very early on in Dorlinx's life, and so it's not going to be super relevant to be playing today. There's only a few cards, really, where it matters, but I think that this is fine if Konami keep up this level of free-to-play attainability, right? If every box has a bundle for 750 gems, for getting a free guaranteed card from an older box, that's very cool. If events give out a suitable amount, you know, Maybe you get like 50 box chips event, right? And every two events becomes one card of your choice. I think that's plenty fair. I also think that this is a very, very big test. And it ending in August is that kind of signs me do not 
Do not buy Hintrune Aid, right? Do not be stupid. But it ending in August is, to me, at least a copium sign that they might be thinking, how are we going to get people on board with getting rush cards and getting Legend Res and Rush Dawn? I think that having some rush stuff behind their equivalent of box chips would be pretty cool. You know, it would be a, a weird way of going about it, but a way of going about it. So I wonder if this is kind of preparation for a feature that they want to bring out for Rush, but they want people to kind of be acclimated with it now. And so they're getting people in the door early, but then people kind of complain that why can we get Rush stuff from this and we can't get newer box stuff. And I think they, they can do like a nice middle ground, right? If you could be having these periods where you're, you know, the, the box is only available until the end of August, make the card pool more custom tailored, right? If, if, you, if you know you've got some Odd Eye stuff coming out or some DDD, for example, then why not put in some, you know, random support cards for those deck types in the ticket? So it feels a bit more relevant, right? Because not many people are going to be opening door links now and going, you know what I really want? I really want Daedalus. They're not going to be doing that. Unless, of course, this transfers to the Rushdoor version, at which point you might kind of want this, but that's a story for another day. Uh, so overall, I think it's a good step forward. It's, it's, a, it's a benefit regardless, right? You know, it's better than nothing. But is it as good as it could be? No. Do I think we ever should expect to be getting the full card pool right? No, because that devalues Dream Tickets, and even Dream Tickets aren't the full card pool, and so they won't devalue, like, one of their main gimmicks for getting new players into the game, right? Dream Tickets hype everyone up, right? It's a free box UR card, it's a free $100 value, and if they suddenly make that available for 700 gems, it isn't going to work out, right? It's, it's just not going to work out. So, uh, overall, it is better than I expected, but still could be improved. Let me know your thoughts down below and what cards you want to be picking from this one. I'm not too sure yet. I'm going to kind of wait and see what the next main box has in store and see what kind of older cards I'm missing. But uh, yeah, pretty exciting time in Duel Links. I'll see you all in the next Duel Links video. See you then.